Vlogmas. Day 24, the last day of Vlogmas. I'm just setting up right now for my nail art stream that I do on Fridays on Twitch. Kind of scrambling, don't have a plan, but it's okay. We're gonna get this done. Probably just gonna do some little holly berries and then calendars, our advent calendars, the last day for all of them. Let me go finish setting up and then I'll catch up with you guys. We're done with the stream. Here's what my nails look like. We just did these little holly berries. I don't know if you can even see them. They're super cute. I'll post a picture on Instagram. Anyway, I'm actually not gonna do this on all of my nails. I'm gonna take it off because I wanna do a full like red and white manicure. So I'm gonna take this off. I'm going to, actually it's, it's almost 12.30 now. So I guess we can go open up advent calendars. The last advent calendars. Oh my gosh, kind of crazy. And then I do have to edit my vlogmas from yesterday. And then I also have to edit today's video. So then we'll probably part ways for a little bit and then I'll come back. Here's the fit for the day. I totally forgot that I have this onesie. This is my Christmas onesie. I was gonna say, I feel like it's appropriate that the last day I wear that sweatshirt that I always wear, but I feel like this, this is appropriate. This is what I should be wearing all day. And I think I will. Like little reindeer and snowmen and Santa and whatnot. These are so comfy. If anybody's curious. Ryan does have a matching one and I'm gonna make him wear it too. <laughs> Let's open up our advent calendars. My last day of socks and they're long socks and they're Sally socks. They're long, oh wait, oh my gosh, wait. One of them is Jack and one of them is Sally. That's so cute, I love it. Okay, last day of Ciate. Is it gonna be a cream? Whoa. This one's huge. Is this what their normal size bottle look like? It says, when in doubt, dance it out. Oh my gosh. Wow, what a reveal. It's called dancing shoes. And it's actually a glitter. This is what I was expecting the entire time. And I still can't open it. This is big. This is only 14 milliliters, but just compared to all the tiny ones, it feels huge. Here was yesterday's for comparison. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's actually really fun. And then last, Day of matcha. We still have a lot of matchas that I need to try, but maybe I'll do that another day. Day number 24, our last one. We haven't tried one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine matchas out of 24 I haven't tried. Okay. Oh gosh, please be a good flavor. It's candy cane flavor. Is this gonna be minty? I actually just despise mint. I feel like that'll ruin my day. I don't want this at all. Ugh, I hate mint flavor. What if I just don't eat this one and I take my gingerbread one? I feel like that's so much more festive to me because I don't like mint. I'm gonna do it. This is day 19 and I didn't get to drink it. I'm just, we're just gonna do a little sneaky gingerbread matcha instead. I don't wanna do candy cane, that's gross. Sorry guys, <laughs> sorry for disappointing you. Is this a legal move? Am I allowed to do this? <laughs> My little gingerbread man. He doesn't actually reach, but it's okay. This better be delicious, let me tell you. This is the gingerbread flavor. This is good. This is a five star. This is better than yesterday's. I also used a little bit more just because I want it to be really flavorful. This is the best one. This is better than the salted caramel. This truly tastes like gingerbread matcha and it's delicious. Oh my gosh. Should I try to dip him? What a combo, matcha and gingerbread. I saw this at the grocery store last night and it looked enticing, so I'm gonna try this. So we shall make this for lunch. By the way, this is two and a half servings in it. It like baffles me that there are people in this world who make a box of mac and cheese and don't eat the entire thing. I always eat the entire box. There's no way, it's such a small portion. We're out of bowls again, so we're just using this mixing bowl. This smells good, I'll show you. It looks like craft. It doesn't taste like craft. I can get used to it though, I guess. I mean, I prefer Daya. That one's pretty good. This one's all right. So it's been a couple of hours. It's now, oh my gosh, it's already four o'clock. That's crazy. I think I, I have all of them in order except for the base and top coat, but there's a lot. There's a lot. Let me show you guys all of them actually. I believe it's already dark, <laughs> but here's all of the colors. And I have to say overall, I feel like this is not giving me holiday vibes. I feel like I should turn on a light though. Let me turn on my ring light. Is this, oh, that is bright, but you'll be able to see. Okay, so I did show you guys the first color, which is called Playdate. Oh, I just messed up the order of all these. Huh. Let me try them. I'm just gonna put them all on my thumb. I'm not even gonna bother with base coat. And I'm gonna use a rubber band to open them because 
These are impossible to open. This smells good though. Like this smells like plant-based polish. Is it plant-based? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like they are. Okay, so here's that first color. This is called Playdate. That's not color accurate. This is gonna be a terrible video. <laughs> but just so you guys can see, this is pretty much one coat coverage. I wonder how these lighter pastel -y kind of colors are gonna do. If I can open them, it's not even working with the rubber band method? All this, all this planning for nothing. All right, sometimes when they're really difficult, I'll put a bit of the rubber band on the bottom, like on the actual bottle, and then some on the cap. I shall twist it. Nope. Hey Ryan, can you come open this bottle? I cannot get this open. I have a rubber band if you want to try it. It's just slippery, that's the problem. Here, if I wrap it, you got it? Yeah. How did you do that so easily? All right, he got it. This one's called I li Like You. It's a cute name, but why is it reminding me of the I Wolf You thing from you? Okay, this one's sheer. This one's really sheer. Well, it's streaky. I don't know if you can see it. That's a streaky, streaky color. I don't know, let me try a second coat and see. I mean, it will, it'll definitely be at least a three coater. For those of you guys who are used to my good quality swatch and reviews, don't be alarmed by this. Yeah, this is not a two coater. Here's what it looks like in two coats. I cannot open any of these. Ugh, Ryan, can you open an another one? I don't know why I can't open these. You want to just open all of them and then just leave them here for me? I can't get this This many? Yeah. I am trying all of them. I can't open any of them. I can't get any of these open. This is the worst. You got it? Okay, wait. Next. You gotta do them all. <laughs> you gotta do them all. Okay, so we just spent like 10 minutes opening these. These two will not open, even with Ryan's strength and a rubber band on. And we even tried both doing it together. So the prettiest one doesn't open. Neither does this yellow. I feel like that would be like a four coater anyway. I have to tell you guys, I'm I'm trying this one now. I feel like I wouldn't recommend Ciate. Like I was excited because I wanted a nail polish advent and I had already opened my Cirque one. The OPI one I already had all the stuff for. This is Supernova. It's sheer. And I feel like I know you guys would probably rather me do like a real review. But like, I don't want to review these for real, to be honest. Okay, this is Sweet Blush. This one's nice. This one's almost one coat. But also a bunch of you guys have told me that Ciate doesn't last at all on your nails. And I feel like I believe it. Now I'm on this shade Cherry Bomb and it's so sheer. It's like a very dark red color. But this is like so streaky and sheer. I just want to do like one little coat of each one just to see. Oh, this mint one is so watery. I wish you guys could see them better, but I also like don't really want to fully swatch them. I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can just see. And this is an expensive brand. This isn't a cheap brand. This is the green. This is actually really cute. All very light nudes in here. That one's cute though. It's a cute color. And I can see that this one's probably only going to be like two coats. This one's called The Naked Truth. I feel like you guys are not gonna like that I'm doing this like that. I don't even know if these colors are readily available. This one's called Cupcake Queen and it has like a little shimmer in it. This shade's called Total Eclipse, by the way. This one's nice too. This is called Stay Golden, but it's so sheer. Look at, you can see my visible nail line. This color is called I Want Candy. This is cute. This is actually pretty cute. I just, I'm like looking at this, this doesn't even look like a holiday collection to me. This is the shade Pillow Fight, and this is also extremely sheer. This one's not for me. This one's called Ice Scream. This is heavy spring vibes for me. This one's called Desert Storm. These are the col these colors they're decent at. This is Seize the Clay. I feel like all of these are kind of looking a little bit the same. This one's called After Dark. Look at how sheer it is. And then this last one is called Berry Grapeful. These are all like the pinky nude colors. Actually, this would be a really cute Skittle. We've got all these light pastel -y kind of colors. I wanna see what they all look like next to each other. Look at all of these colors. They're so similar. They're just, I mean, actually this is kind of a cute little rainbow of colors here. And then this beauty, which we can't even use. I just turned off my ring light. Look at how dark it is already. But yeah, so here's the thing. I have been reading a book and I kind of just want to chill with the fireplace on, with my Christmas tree on, and just cozy up in my onesie and read. But I didn't edit or upload today's video. I did the Vlogmas video, but I didn't upload my like regular video. But a lot of people are already telling me that they're already starting their celebrations. I mean, it's almost five o'clock anyway. I'm wondering 
if I should just save it for Sunday anyway. Is that terrible? Yeah, I think I might just read for a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. This is like a little preamble into my 2022 of giving myself breaks because you know what? It's Christmas Eve. I feel like I deserve a little bit of time. It's my own fault for not finishing my video in a timely manner, but I've been doing a lot of stuff, so I didn't really fully have time. I mean, I probably shouldn't have spent three and a half hours on the phone yesterday with Leah, but we were talking about our goals. I feel like that's kind of important. Like, I should just give myself some time for Christmas Eve. I think I'm gonna just do that for a little bit, but I'll catch up with you guys when we are thinking about dinner and what, what we're gonna eat for that, so I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can't spend the night underneath the mistletoe and I've gotten you a present. It's now 5.30. I just finished reading the book that I started a couple of days ago. Actually, I think I only started it yesterday. I read it very quickly. To be honest, I am incredibly disturbed right now. <laughs> I don't recommend the book. It was called Verity by Colleen Hoover and it was incredibly disturbing and not a holiday read and now I'm like just sitting here feeling very uncomfortable. <laughs> Like it's not even, it's not even that it was like, I, I know that there are good books that are disturbing. Like I'm, I, I don't want to talk about what the book was about, but there was a lot of like trigger warning stuff in there. I don't agree with the fact that it was in the book. I feel like it was in the book for shock value and it was very disturbing to read. Not a fan. <laughs> that was my first experience with Colleen Hoover and I thought that she was a romance novelist. There was romance in it, but it was a very disturbing very, very disturbing book. So now I'm just sitting here. I think I like just need to watch something completely mindless and happy right now. Like I think I might just watch some sort of cartoon or Christmas movie to forget that I ever read that book and to scrub the details from my brain because I did not like it at all. This does not feel very Christmassy to me. Just watch something mindless and happy for a little bit and then I'll catch up with you guys. That I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this Hi, way. friends. It's now. I don't know, maybe 8.30ish. We just finished dinner. We also had some hot chocolate and it was just overall a very nice, relaxing day and night. I guess that's that for Vlogmas, just kind of crazy. Yeah, I feel like this has been a very interesting journey. I thought it was gonna be more difficult than it was to do Vlogmas, but it almost felt very natural to just bring you guys along in my life. So thank you guys for joining me this month. I know I didn't vlog every single day. I know I missed a couple of days, but I feel like it was a success for a first ever vlogmas and I'll definitely do it again. And I do feel like it's gonna be weird to not vlog. So I don't know, maybe I will do weekly vlogs. I think I'm going to take the next week off though. I'm still gonna be posting my regular videos, even though I didn't post one today, but I do have a video for Sunday and then Tuesday and then Friday. So I'm all set on that. Oh my gosh. This might be the last time I see you guys on this channel before New Year's. Actually, I strongly suspect that it is. I don't know. I feel like, oh, I feel weird leaving now. <laughs> I just want to say thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. And I hope that 2022 is our best year yet. I'm really looking forward to a clean slate starting fresh. I feel like I always love the new year for that reason. I just, I have a good feeling. <laughs> I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I love you all so much. I'll see you in 2022. Well, I'll probably see you on my regular channel before then, but <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye. It's